ஓம்ஸ்ரீ கணேசாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமக ஹெல்த் இஸ் பிகம் சச் அ மேஜர் இஷ்யூ ஃபார் ஆல் ஆஃப் அஸ்ட் வே டு மெயின்டைன் குட் ஹெல்த் இஸ் அ பிக் பிக் சேலஞ்ச் அண்ட் எவ்ரி அதர் டே வி ஹியர் நியூ நியூ ஃபார்ம்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஹெல்த் இஷ்யூஸ் அண்ட் கன்சர்ன்ஸ் அண்ட் ஐ ஐ மீன் நவ் ஆஃப் லேட் ஆட்டோ இம்யூன் டிசீஸ் அண்ட் ப்ளட் ரிலேட்டட் டிசீசஸ் சிம்பிள் திங்ஸ் ஆர் காசிங் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் டு பீப்புள் லைக் யூனோ பீப்புள் ஹூ ஆர் ஆன் stroke patients who are on blood thinners and people who are prone to get stroke because they are diabetic and you know they have other conditions blood related disorders all of this i mean it's become such an important thing for us to address and we're taking medicines we're constantly trying to uh, make things work we walk we do yoga we do workouts in spite of all of that the stress levels are still very high and we just cannot cope with this kind of pressure and all this is leading us to a lot of health issues why did i mention the blood thinners specifically is because once a patient with who's on blood thinners uh, has to be really careful i've seen this personally you know when they uh, when they're walking around if they by chance happen to touch their skin with something or if the hand gets cut or small bruise the bleeding is so severe that they lose a lot of blood for nothing it will just be a simple cut or a wound and still they end up suffering a lot so it will be like a blood bath and we all know that it's the blood which carries the nutrition to the entire body each and every place so whether so there are some autoimmune diseases um you know where whether it's a thyroid or anything related to um a condition like for example i recently even heard somebody say things like you know they had they, they did not have their blood reach a particular point of body which is why the because there was no blood supply uh, the body that part was decaying and that caused an autoimmune disease that triggered an autoimmune disease can you just imagine the kind of damage it can cause and and then how do you even get that rectified i mean i know you constantly on medication and you have to be very conscious about the food intake and many many things in spite of all of that are you going to be 100% all right how is the quality of life going to alter if you have this condition with you so uh, for all these questions i have a wonderful solution there is something about the divine mother and me i always you know get solutions through her and in in her form itself like in my previous video i had spoken about patadarsya ma how we can ask her right in this video i'm talking about rana bhadra kali we all may have heard of vana bhadra kali vana bhadra kali is the goddess who basically presides over a forest who resides in a forest who presides the forest she is in charge of jeeva rashis but here i'm talking about rana bhadra kali the one who's in charge of fighting diseases fighting wars external and internal fighting the stress and anything to do with blood anything directly or indirectly to, to do with blood she takes care rana bhadra kali puja on purnima on amavasya on tuesday on friday the same the favorite and the most auspicious days for the divine mother devi is very powerful so when we do the rituals uh, connected to her uh, we see good results instant results especially the one i'm talking about for the blood thinners blood was just not clotting and you know very frequently this person was getting hurt and uh, you know he would get hurt and the entire house would be filled with blood you know he would just walk and with the vitrified uh, you know vitrified tiles flooring and things like that you will see uh, blood stains everywhere and actually if you get to see it's a very small wound you ask the doctors and all they'll just say no you just have to press it very hard or you probably put ice cubes that's it you won't believe it i have personally seen him put turmeric put coffee powder put uh, and there are some clotting uh, drops also which you get uh, from the pharmaceutical we have done that as well nothing has worked for him one one puja in ranabhadra kali temple really changed uh, the whole thing the whole course for him he stopped getting injury i mean injuries and he stopped getting hurt and he was more careful and those he avoided most injuries is what i want to tell you that is how it helped and definitely uh, any blood related disorders infection is also carried in the blood so you see blood circulation the legs getting numb very soon hands getting numb you know i know people uh, who sit in the theater for an hour or so also without moving their hands their hands turn very very numb that's because of poor blood circulation astrologically if your chandra is in the 6th house in the rogasthana it is possible that you know you get into these kind of problems also when your mangal is the rogadipati or mangal is in the rogasthana 
blood related disorders are very likely so if you are suffering from any of that or you know somebody who is suffering please do refer to them about this puja for rana bhadra kali she is an extremely as as fierce as she sounds and she is very very compassionate and once you invoke her blessings definitely you are sure to have it and of course when you say when i mentioned about the wars the internal and the external internal i meant not just the blood aspect of it but i also meant the stress aspect of it the conflicts the mental traumas and whatever you go through so all of that she takes care she helps you sort it out she helps you calm down and uh, look at it in a different way and face it and gives you all the courage to do that and and whatever um, you need not just courage whatever you need to have to you know address the issue she will do it at the same time people who are wanting to win court cases legal battles uh, or just generally there's something happening where you want consensus of people who are not agreeing or creating nuisance rana bhadra kali definitely helps you even in winning those battles she is an amazing goddess and i feel each one of us should get her blessings thank you so much namaste